calculating interest compounded continuously. In 1614, Scottish mathematician John Napier published tables of natural logarithms that included the irrational number later to be called E. That number is approximately 2.71828, etc. The table shown is a small portion of page 3 of Napier's Tables of Logarithms. This constant, later named E after the Swiss mathematician Euler, is like pi, a ratio that appears often in mathematics. The Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli discovered this constant by studying a question about compound interest. One example is an account that starts with $1 and pays 100% interest per year. If the interest is credited once at the end of the year, that value will be $2. But if the interest is com computed and added twice in the year, the $1 is multiplied by 1.5 twice, yielding 1 times 1.5 squared, which would equal 2.25. Compounding quarterly or four times per year yields $1 times 1.254, which would equal 2.4414. Compounding monthly or 12 times per year yields $2.61. And finally, compounding continuously, Bernoulli discovered that the monetary value of $1 after one year is equal to the constant later called E for Euler. We can use Bernoulli's discovery of about 300 years ago to find continuously compounded interest for different rates of interest. Here is the formula based on that discovery. FV stands for future value. P stands for the principal or initial amount. E stands for Euler's number, approximately 2.718, etc. Y stands for time, usually years. R stands for rate. A rate of 5% per year, for instance, will be 0 0.05, but only when years are represented by Y. Let's do an example, a simple one. Let's take $1,000 compounded continuously at a rate of 6% over one year. We first apply the formula by putting one, the 1,000 for the principal. Next we put in Euler's constant E by pressing the second then the division sign key on the right side of the keypad. So we have this little E here. Next we put in the exponent key or the to the power of key which is the rooftop key on the right side of the keypad right under the clear key. Next we need to put in the YR, the year times the rate. We need to put them in parentheses here. Y is 1 for one year and R is 0 0.06 for 6%. Since Y is one year, we really don't have to put in that one since 0 0.06 times 1 is 0 0.06. We press enter and get a future value of $1,061.84. A casual observation by subtracting $1,060 shows us how this number is $1.84 more than a flat one time 6% compounded once for the entire year. Let's look at another problem, this time a multiple choice problem. Monique deposited $3,000 in an account and earned 4% interest rate on her investment compounded continuously. What will be the value of her investment after five years? Stop the video and solve this problem. Restart the video after you've determined your answer choice. Just plug in for the formula 3,000 times e to the power of 5 times 0.4 and those pi 5 times 0.4 inside parentheses, press enter. We get $3,664.21, our answer choice C. The possible pitfall is to use the wrong formula that does not compound continuously, and this is it with calculation, which would seem to be answer A. This answer is the same as A, but is incorrect because it's not compounding continuously, but just for one year. We haven't had a lot of time to go over many problems on this lesson. Try to get some practice outside of this lesson, perhaps calculating comparisons between different compounding periods versus continuously. This has been Calculating Interest Compounded Continuously. Thanks for viewing.